Welcome back to Tiger in the Kitchen. It's Pam here, and today we're making Thai style beef jerky, which I'll show you the traditional way, sun dried, and the convenient way with the oven. Will they be different? Watch until the end to find out and see how to make it easily at home. Here's the ingredients protein and only four seasonings beef can be any part you want you want it leaner go for a tenderloin sirloin round steak or even filet mignon for me i like it with some fat layers so it's gonna be rump and chuck steak seasoned with fish sauce sugar black or white peppercorns and this is the optional you can also add white sesame there are plenty of ways to prepare Thai and dry beef, or we call it nga dat deal in Thai. Today's recipe is a very simple and basic way, but so good. So cut the beef into strips, about 1cm. Not too small, they will shrink when we dry them, or you can slice thinly, however you like it. Remove the bones if there are some. This piece is chuck steak. The fat layers are just so beautiful. Why am I using two types of beef cuts? Well, this is the last pack of the shark steak on the shelf. All right, let's season the beef. For the more aroma, if you want, you can toast the peppercorns on medium heat for a few minutes until they are fragrant. Then we are going to grind them, not too finely. Like this is good. For 1 kilogram of beef, add 3 tablespoons of fish sauce. 1 tablespoon sugar. Two teaspoon ground peppercorns, and if you also want, add one teaspoon of white sesame. Mix them well until the seasonings are absorbed. And we can dry them right away. Put the beef individually on a tray or better on a rack. I'll have to use both for this amount of beef. And right now warm up the oven at 80 degrees Celsius upper or lower heat for about 30 minutes. So we're gonna leave this in the sun for about a couple hours. There's a few things that we're gonna need to be watching out or be careful about, which might be the animals that are roaming around, the dogs, the cats, the birds, even squirrels, if you have ones around your neighborhood. And one thing that I'm gonna do next is to use a net to cover it to prevent them from getting the flies and some insects, you know, landing on the beef. We don't wanna get sick from that. Speaking of which, now I have one cat coming over. I hope she's not gonna jump on the table. All right, I will grab the net and uncover it quickly so we can continue the oven version inside the house. This version is for the winter, no sun coming out or just for the convenience period. The upper and lower heat at 80 degrees Celsius and we'll leave it there for at least a couple hours can be more or less depending on the oven and your beef size. Flip them occasionally, both sun dried and oven dried versions so they're evenly dried. Ta-da! Guess which side is from the oven and which side is the sun-dried. I was joking. The beef from this side look more brown and dry. It's the oven version. While the sun-dried version, the color is still bright and looks more moist. It's gonna also depends on how strong the sun is in each place. I'm sure if I was doing this from Thailand, it would be a little drier. And if you're not gonna eat all of the one kilogram in one meal, like me, Keep them in a Tupperware, then store in the fridge. They will last up to a couple weeks. 
If you want to store even longer than that, put them in Ziploc bags, then store in the freezer. Will last for a few months. This is why it's really worth it to make a lot of them in one time. And this menu traditionally, like beef jerky from other countries, is the way to preserve the food. All right, let's just cook these yummy ones. Enough vegetable oil for frying. This is the most common way we do in Thailand. You can also grill or cook them in the oven or air fryer. For frying, we're using medium heat. The beef is already dry, so it won't take long at all. How long to cook depends on how soft or how hard you want to get. Personally, I fry them for about five minutes, so they're still moist inside. If you want them drier, cook them a little longer and keep stirring time to time to evenly heat. And when it's about this. I'm happy with it already. Now we're gonna rest on a rack or on a paper towel. And this batch is the oven dried ones. On the left, sun dried version, and this side is the oven dried version. Okay, let me try it. Hmm, not too dry, still moist and easy to chew. All right, now I'm gonna try the oven dried version. The oven dried version is a little drier, probably because of the more consistent of the heat. And both are pretty good. If you really don't pay attention, you'll not know the difference. So go for the method you're comfortable with. Then enjoy eating as it is. With a lot of fresh, crunchy vegetables, a bowl of sticky rice, and Thai spicy barbecue dipping sauce, or a nam jim chow, which you can check the link in the description box for the recipe. Leave this video a thumbs up if you like it. Thank you for watching. See you again next recipe. Bye.